Border Town is an adult animated series created by Mark Henterman, a writer, executive producer and a former showrunner on Family Guy. Border Town is produced jointly by Bento Box Entertainment, Fuzzy Door Productions, 20th Century Fox Television, and Henterman Films for the Fox Network. Henterman came up with the idea for Border Town when George W. Bush was in office and there were suggestions going around of building a security fence along the border which caused a heated debate. When Henterman first pitched the idea to Fox they weren't interested in it, because of that Henterman said he kind of put it on a shelf believing that his idea is no longer relevant. However, in 2013 Fox greenlit the show for a season, ordering 13 episodes. Henterman wanted Border Town to be about whites and Latinos but he didn't want it to be a show that is only written by white people, so to keep the show authentic whilst dealing with the anxiety surrounding the cultural shifts. Henterman requested the help of Lalo Alcaraz a Mexican-American cartoonist and Gustavo Arellano a Mexican-American journalist author who came on board as a consulting producer. With Seth MacFarlane and Henterman being the executive producers of the show. Border Town is the first primetime cartoon to focus on a Latino family's story. The show is set in the universe of Family Guy, The Cleveland Show and American Dad. Seeing that the Buwald's house is said to be built over the set of The Cleveland Show. The two main characters of Border Town are, neighbors Buwald and Ernesto Gonzalez. Now, Bud Buwald is a Border Patrol agent and a racist that is likened to Archie Bunker. Buwald lives with his wife Janice Buckwald, and their three children, Sanford, Becky and Gert. Seeing that he is a Border Patrol agent and a racist he's always trying to stop the Mexicans from crossing the border. So because of that it was ironic to see him helping them to illegally come over into America after he successfully got the border wall built, something he wanted, but because of that the economy dropped and he subsequently lost his job, so he had no choice than to sneak them in for money. This episode in particular was written a year before Donald Trump started talking about building a wall, I think it was inspired from the security fence suggestion. Ernesto Gonzalez, is a successful immigrant that has been in the United States for less than 10 years and was able to start his own landscaping company that has made him well off. In the episode Drug Lord, Buckle tries to be more successful than Ernesto, and that led him to start working for drug kingpin Pablo Barracuda at the border station. Each episode's open up with Buckle chasing famed human smuggler, El Coyote, but unable to apprehend him. The creators used that as a way to let people know it is impossible to stop the migration of Mexicans no matter what kind, even if there is anti-immigration politicians trying to. Border Town premiered on Fox on January 3, 2016. In the United Kingdom on ITV2 on February 29, 2016, in Australia on Channel 11 on February 3, 2016 and in Canada on the Channel City. Whilst Border Town was met with mixed reviews majority of them were bad, with people saying that the characters are unappealing and forgettable, unlike Archie Bunker that Buwald is often being compared to, Buwald has no room for character development, and the jokes that people don't seem to find funny are cheap and predictable. Like when, Buwald eats a spicy pepper and fire came through his rare end. And being abducted by aliens to be probed by the rare end. None of these jokes are even original, they are something you'd find in Family Guy and American Dad. Border Town was cancelled on May 12, 2016 days before Season 1 came to an end. Due to it not getting enough ratings to keep it going for a second season. The show was averaging 0.75 in the 18-49 demographic area and 1.788 million viewers. In an interview with NBC News Latino before the final episode aired, writers and consulting producers Lalo Alcaraz and Gustavo Arellano said, and I quote, There are so many stories that we wanted to tell, and in this day and age, it is the time to have a politically edged cartoon about the US to Mexico border, now more than ever is the time to have a cartoon that can highlight the insanity and inanities of the issues concerning immigrants but also the hilarity involved in them. To us, it was revolutionary to show a Latino family on an animated sitcom, and the first time ever on network television, while animated shows like, Dora the Explorer, and, Mucha Lucha, Exist, Border Town, opened up a Chicano household to an older, broader audience. That's all for now.